Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Fork Outscaler. So, uh, what do you get with a standard edition of uh, Death Stranding pre-order? And remember, this only applies before the game is released. Once the game is released, on Friday, you won't get these items. These items are only available for pre-order. So, just remember that. You got two days to actually get these items. And actually, they're pretty cool. Uh, you get this pretty cool dynamic Death Stranding team. Uh, you get the avatar, which you can use right away. Uh, and then you also get some additional cool items like uh, the gold, shades, sunglasses, the uh, bridges, gold hat and bridges uh, padding, you know, the shoulder padding and the, uh, the thighs padding with uh, gold, with gold color. And those are pretty cool. Uh, and then also the gold pants, you know, with, with the gold striped pants, you get that as well. So pretty cool stuff that you get this with a standard edition. Now, Deluxe Edition has some other cool features, but I'm not really that interested in all that other stuff in Deluxe Edition. Because in the Deluxe Edition, I can go online and I can uh, get those special, you know, beach things, BD, uh, special behind the scene things about how it was uh, created and made and all that stuff, I can get that on internet. You know, I can watch that some other time. So this is what you get pretty much with the uh, standard edition. You cannot unlock the item uh, of the this team. You have to wait till uh, the Friday to unlock this. Okay, this is, this is a special uh, pre-order dynamic theme death stranding uh character dynamic team vigente uh dynamic team and uh it's only pre-order special type of a dynamic team so uh i don't know if you're gonna be able to buy this separately i don't know but for right now it's only uh for the pre-order and it's a dynamic theme and then, of course, you have your uh, avatar, which you can use. I already used it. And uh, besides that, you have those four items that you can uh, utilize as well. And, of course, the game uh, will unlock automatically. You can select to automatically download. Uh, you have the option to automatically download when the game officially launches on midnight. Uh, you can set it to automatically download, and that's the cool feature about the uh, this new update uh, 7.00 that you can auto download automatically. So uh, expect that auto download it's tomorrow. So the preload should be tomorrow, but it's not gonna be till guys. It's not gonna be till Thursday. Uh, I think, in my opinion, it says November sixth, but I think that it's going to be Thursday because it says two days, nine hours playable. But it says you can expect auto download on November 6th. So maybe it's going to preload tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I think it will because remember, it's only preloading it to your hard drive. You know, you still cannot play it till midnight, but it's going to be preloaded tomorrow. So today is the 5th, tomorrow is the 6th. So you should be able to have it on your hard drive tomorrow not sure how big the size of this thing is i'm probably guessing it's going to be somewhere between like 70 to 80 gigabytes it's going to be pretty big uh because of the decima engine and how big the maps are and all that and uh one more thing i want to say is that this whole thing with death stranding and um uh, i was watching the Young Yeah, Young Yeah, uh, video earlier today where he talked about how he feels about this whole fiasco with Death Stranding. And I think that some of us are guilty of taking the bait. Uh, we took the bait from the IGN and we're talking about them, we're giving them clicks, we're basically dancing to IGN tunes. Uh, and I agree on that. Even I was so focused on IGN when, in fact, when you look at the uh, metrics and, and, and metadata of the, the score, this game's got a lot of 
great reviews. It's up in the 80s. I think close to 90s. Uh, it's not above 90s, but it's close to 90s, and it's just getting a really great, great reviews. All right? So, and I'm, but the thing is, that's the problem. You know, um, we're focused on the negative instead of the positive. But the reason I got ticked off, the reason I got pissed off, it's because I just can't believe that company like IGN would authorize this Australian team, this Australian bloke, to mock this game, to make fun of it. That's not a review. That's like you mocking something. That's like you roasting something. That should have been called a roast, not a review. And that's what pissed me off. And that's what I told Yong Ye. But he says, you know, that's their opinion. Fine. You know, that's their opinion. It is what it is. Don't focus on that. Focus on this other great reviews that we have, okay? And I think what's so unique about this game, <clears throat> from all the research that I have gathered, from, from everything that I have researched, I've been researching this game, guys, forever, forever. Since, 20, since 2016, I've been researching this game. I've been following development, so I'm not, like, new to this, to this development of Death Stranding, Okay? <clears throat> so, this game is not for everyone. I understand that. But this is a new IP. Okay? What's so challenging about this game is the fact that you are connected with other players. So, if you're having a difficult time crossing that mountain because you don't have enough of a ladder, or you're having a difficult time coming down that mountain because you don't have enough of the zip line. Guess what? Other players will leave stuff and tools for you to, to use, to, to go across that mountains. Other players who play the game before you will help you reconnect with them so you can follow the same path. Or maybe you can open a new path and build different roads. So, for example, when you are connected to the internet, you have the obviously you have the option not to be connected. But I recommend that you're connected to the internet when you play this game, uh, to the network. Because when you're connected to the network, if some other player left a road for you, that built the road and the bridge for you to go to that next delivery, guess what? Maybe he left a bike or a vehicle for you to use to go to that next delivery. So there's these cool elements that are inside the game. And I think that's what makes it so addictive. I think that's what makes it so unique. But, you know, IGN really didn't... I th this is the problem, and this is what I said to, to everybody. Everybody got pissed off because IGN was immature, and they were just mocking the game. Hey, cousin, if you don't like the game, that's fine. But maybe you shouldn't be reviewing the game. You shouldn't be reviewing the game because you're mocking it. How can you give public an honest opinion about something if you are mocking it? You're mocking the game. You're mocking the character. You're making fun of the game. That's not a review. That's you roasting. That's you bullying the game. You're a bully. Okay? And that's what pissed me off. A lot of people ask me, Mr. Forky, why are you so pissed off? I'm pissed off because of that bullying that the IGN allowed, and they're still defending it. Seriously. That's why people are pissed off. It's not because of one company. It's because that they allow that shit to happen. And that says a lot about IGN, informative garbage news, and just how desperate, how desperate they are for that mighty click, for that mighty dollar. And that's where this whole thing came from, guys. That's where... This whole thing came from. And they have to be held responsible for authorizing a, a immature bullying review like that. That's this is the way I see it, guys. I'm sorry, but that's the way I see it. Okay, that's what ticked me off. Alright, well, anyway, there you have it. I'll see you guys on the Need for Speed Heat. We'll talk more about this. So I'll see you in the live stream pretty soon. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good one though. Take care.